Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. Out here at the range today with heavy metal and we're doing one of my absolute favorite tests and that's the how many milk jug tests. This one, because of viewer request, tons of you guys asked we do this comparison. We are comparing a 22 to 50 against the 243 to see how many milk jugs it takes to catch the bullet. Now both of these are going really fast. This 243 I have is an 80 grain projectile. Some would call that a varmint load. The 22 250 is a 55 grain projectile. Some would also call that a varmint load. Both of them are lead tip soft nose hunting rounds. 22 to 50 should be going about 3600 feet per second. That's booking it. 243 is no slouch either though. It should be going about 3200, 3300 feet per second. So both of these bullets zinging in here real hot. And I don't know if we're going to be able to catch them or not. To tell you the truth, they might be going so fast they just poof, poof into nothing. But we're about to find out. I'm going to shoot this 243 80 grainer first and then we'll shoot the 22 250 and see what happens cross your fingers that we catch them for the 243 I'm gonna guess we catch that in the third jug 22 250 I'm gonna guess we catch it in the second jug but check it out let's see what happens shoot the 243 first all right so the first shot with is gonna be that 243 with that 80 grain round I'm gonna be shooting it out of my Weatherby Vanguard 243. Pretty slick rifle. Let's see what happens here. I might get a little wet. Looks like a good center shot to me. Let's go see what happened. All right, so I really hope we caught it. But remember, we had eight jugs up here. One, two on the ground there. Here's jug number three. And looking dead on, I don't know about you, but that looks like a pretty center shot. So let's move this carefully and I don't see a hole in jug number four there so cross your fingers there's a bullet in this one and looks like we got a bullet so I'm gonna go over here and pour this out <clears throat> Let's pour out this 243 here. So, there's that 243. You can see it's pretty wicked expansion. That lead is just kind of peeled back around the jacket. There's not too much lead there at all, actually. But that's what we caught. And jug number three here. Let's go get the 22 250. All right, now for the 22 250, I'm going to be shooting it out of my CVA Cascade. Yes, CVA does make a bolt action. And this one, I've got a Stierka S7. It's pretty sweet on here. But this is one of my absolute favorite hunting setups. Hopefully, I can get a straight shot. Let's see what we can do with it. Look good to me. Let's go see what happened. All right, now let's run up here and see what happened. We had the same amount of jugs up there, eight. And that's kind of funny. 
There's only five up there left, just like the other one, but not two on the ground. So up here on the third jug, though, hmm. There's actually not a hole in the third jug. There's just a little dimple where we hit it. So exploded the first two and then disappeared. Hmm. Since we didn't catch it, I'm going to shoot it again, see if we can catch the 22 250. We caught the 243 in three, but I want to have that caught bullet. So the 22 250 went through two. Let's shoot it again real quick. See if we can catch it. All right, let's see if we can catch it on the second try. Wow. Y'all check out the slow-mo. That one actually sent a water jug really far through the sky. Alright. I'm not very optimistic about this one, but let's see what happened. We had eight up there again. And again we have... Wait, no. Yep, the front two are gone. So this is steel jug number three. The same one that was up here last time. And... Yeah, it's not there. So we're gonna have to call the 22250 at two jugs. So oh, that 22250 apparently is coming in real hot, exploding that second jug, and then that's it. It's not going deep enough to where we can catch it in that third jug, but it still has enough exploding power that it's just sending the second one way out in the woods and we're not catching the bullet but hey we're calling the 243 80 grain we caught it in three jugs and then that 22 250 55 grain we're going to say two jugs even though we didn't catch it so 243 first two 243 first 22 250 you guys comment down below which one's your favorite i love them both if i had to pick a favorite i'd probably pick that 22 250 but as always, a big shout out and a big thanks to the Heavy Metal channel. You guys go check them out and subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe to the Hootie Hoo channel if you haven't already. We'll see you on the next one. Hootie Hoo!